Okay, so it's day two. You know, we've got all the connections pulled, and I did pull the transmission, which is sitting way over there in the floor, which, of course, I decided I wanted to leave the shifter on it to pull it, which made it a little more colorful, but, you know, who cares? Hood's off, obviously. Um, so today I'm pulling the engine. Um, although rain wasn't predicted, I didn't want to take any chances because I got a guy that wants to buy this engine real bad. And about this engine, so I really think I might be making a mistake with selling it because every bolt I've pulled out of this thing has fresh anti-seize on it. It's got a brand new throw-out bearing. It has a brand new water pump. The ignition's gone. Or at least the condenser and rotor and all that stuff is because it's new. So somebody set this up to run and then I think they messed up the carburetor slash ignition system and never got it running right whatever the case is but there we go we're gonna pull it anyways because you know we've got other things to do with this really the reason why I bought this truck was for this engine uh, nothing special just marine engine lower unit or the lower unit uh, the lower it was a long block but I swapped the heads of GT40 has and put aluminum intake on it HEI you know um, cheap Chinese intake refurbished Holly uh, vacuum secretary electric choke some fancy cheap pulleys you know stuff like that which inspired the whole thing was finding this AOD for 125 bucks online and guy claimed it was good so you know $125 AOD out of a Mustang or whatever had a center console shifter uh, guy had to buy it you know even though I don't really like automatics um, and I had nothing for it uh, moving on um, I did it so anyways by the transmission well you got to have an engine to drive the transmission and there's you know marine re scrapper seller lit selling a cheap 351 cheap uh, full haunted. Uh so I swapped the heads out spent a whole bunch more money and you know still don't know if the transmission works it might uh, and then of course once this is in hand you need something to put it in so it came with a six cylinder i'm repeating myself but uh yeah seeing that i bought it for that engine might as well do that engine oh and in the way of buying that truck i bought this engine too something else i don't need but surely i might need it or a car to go around it